Hello dear viewers and learners, welcome back again to my YouTube channel Literaria Miscellanea and this part is going to be the question answer sessions or you can say the probable answer keys of rest of the questions of the remaining questions that I had left from my earlier video part 1 video so actually I had not got much time because of you know my own work my workplace and after coming today after coming from my workplace I started making this video so that you the learners and the aspirants no longer remain deprived from my probable answer keys and of course and one thing some of you have been asking repeatedly about the cutoff yes in this video i will give you the probable cutoff too all right so you please watch the video till the end and if you deem my video fit for your future food then you can subscribe my channel all right okay so next is 44 Fill in the blanks with the appropriate selection of the word from the given choices occurring in one of Sydney's poems. I sought fit words to paint the blackest face of my O. So, blackest, B number. Blackest, 45. So, what does the lover think that shall eternalize his beloved's virtue of Spencer's solid number 75 in Amorati? All right, so 75 sonnet is the verse, so it is verse B number. All right, Pope's groundbreaking piece of poetry titled The Rape of the Law is an example of yes, it is a classic example. The Pope's The Rape of the Law is a classic example of mock heroic poem. So, mock heroic is equal to high bar legs. So, it is high bar legs. So, high bar legs is what? To make mockery upon the contemporary situation, contemporary time. Through portraying characters. Alright. So, in the rape of the law, Crispisa and Brillante were put in charge of safeguarding Crispisa for locks, you know, Crispisa and Brillante for drops, for ear drops. So, lock and drops. See. Lock and drops, yes. Locks, drops, and others two were uh, momentilla, I think, for watch, and uh, and momentilla, and uh, um, brillante, crispasi, momentilla, jefiratta, yes, jefiratta for the fans, and the guardian still watch at a, okay, forty eight. The Tiger is a poem included in the anthology titled Song of Innocence and Song of Experience, which was first published in the year, which was first published, 1794, 1794. You must keep in mind that Song of Innocence was first published in 1789 and Song of Experience, the companion, you know, anthology, or you can say the antithetical anthology of Blake's poem was published in 1794. So here the tiger is a poem included in the anthology titled Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience, which was first published in the year of 1794. Yes, 1794. All right. Okay. My dear, dear friend, and in thy voice, I catch the language of my former heart. Who is the poet friends referred to here? It is simple. Dorothy Watson's Dino. Fifty. Is the night chilly and dark? The question is raised in Connolly's poem Pistabil and the answer given in the following line. What is the answer? The answer is the night is chilly but not dark. Chilly, but not dark. Yes. 
this is called tag questions you know so uh, it is from Christabel how many times did the mustard bitch bark when it was 12 o'clock at night in Coleridge Christabel so how many times did the mustard bitch bark when it was 12 o'clock at night in Coleridge Christabel so the line is thus 4 for the quarter and 12 for the Twelve o'clock. So twelve o'clock is four and twelve sixteen. So twelve will be the right answer. B number. Twelve. B number. All right. How many times did the mustard beach bark when it was twelve o'clock at night in Colorado Christian? So twelve. Yes. Twelve and the for the quarter four. So four and twelve total sixteen. If the question would have been the how many times in total, then it would be sixteen. But here particularly mentioned the 12 o'clock had how many times? So at 12 o'clock, the mustard beach holds 14 times, oh, sorry, 12 times. Alright. Why did Coleridge call his poems Kubla Khan a fragment? Because why it is very simple. Because the fragment, because someone had arrived to meet him and disturbed his flow of thoughts. So, he was interrupted by somebody distracting his composition. C number. Interrupted. Okay. 53. Okay. The Abyssinian maid in Coldridge, Kubla Khan was playing on her dulcimer and singing of Mount Abora. Yes, it is as simple. Mount Abora. Okay. Or 54. Sally's poem, O to the Most Wind, uses a rhyme scheme known as Tarzarema, which consists of the following. So, Tarzarema is what? Four tarsets plus a rhyming couplet. Four tarsets plus a rhyming couplet. A number. Four sets and two couplet. Okay. 55. Thou from whose unseen presence the leaves date are driven, the, like ghost from an enchanter flame. In the above line, ghost and enchanter are denumbered. The dead leaves, the west wind. Denumbered. Dead leaves and the west wind. So the dead limbs are considered to be the ghost and the is considered to be the enchanter, the magician. Alright. 56. Hmm. Fair is full and full is fair. Hover through the fog and fill the air. What is meant by the above line extracted from the opening scene of Macbeth? So fair is full, full is fair. It is a case mass. So Whatever is fear is also fall in the weather map. No. It is metaphorically, it is a metaphorical statement. So metaphorically, it states that nature exhibits the toxic turvy condition before Duncan is murdered. See, metaphorically. So you know the setting. This is called the objective correlation. The objective correlation of T.S. Eliot's famous critical term the nature the setting is showing the same things what the inner self of one's character showing all right okay what is the name of banco's son in the macbeth it is friends common question direct question friends 58 which forest was prophesied by witches to move physically indicating Macbeth's hall? Forest of Binnam. Alright. Forest of Binnam. Binnam from Dunsinan and Binnam. Alright. So here Binnam is mentioned. Okay. In a Petrarchan sonnet, Volta signifies a turn of thought. Yes. In Petrarchan, Volta turn. In ninth line, Volta occurs in Petrarchan type of sonnet. But 
Why does Volta occur in Shakespeare's sonnet? Beginning with the line, shall I compare the in Shakespeare's sonnet, the Volta actually occurs in line 11, sorry, line 13. The last couplet, the last couplet is considered to be the Volta of Shakespearean sonnet. So, it is what? Concluding couplet. Option D. Oh, bhai, 60. Okay, 60. It will be 60. Alright. The rhyme scheme of Shakespeare sonnet, shall I compare the? It is very simple. A, B, A, B, C, B, C, D, E, F, E, G, G, A. A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, G, G. Okay? Okay, 61. The Shakespeare conclude that his friend cannot be compared to a summer's day. Because his friend first surpasses the qualities of a summer day. D. Or surpasses. Alright. 62. Ulysses is in the eponymous poem by Tennyson refuses to rule over the people in the barren crack. What does the term within parenthesis signify? So barren cracks means barren cracks. So barren means unfertile and cracks means mountainous, rocky. So the rocky mountainous land. Alright. Rocky mountainous land. 63. The country in which Ulysses belongs and is the king but intends to live in order to travel is Ithaca. Who is the Inchimida in Condor's story? Okay, short story. Inchimida is Raja's wife. Though it is shrouded in the text, but we can we can speculate uh, through the text that Inchimida is the wife of the Raja, and Raja himself was very much afraid of her. She was a very cunning lady. Okay. What reason did Magnus, Mangan's sister, mention as her inability to go to Arabi? So she is going back to school. D. She is going back to school. School convent. She expressed her inability to go to Arabi because some retreat were there in her convent school. Okay. 66. In the story Arabi, the uncle of the boy promised to take him to the fair but returned late at night. At what time did his uncle return? At 9 o'clock. Straightforward question. 9 o'clock at night. All right. 67. What is the florin mentioned in the story? Arabi. Florin is a currency. Ceiling. So, ceiling is equivalent to flooring. All right. In men's field, famous short story, the fly, it is informed that the boss had lost his own son, was a soldier. The dead body of the son was buried in Belgium. D. Sixty-nine. So, who is Reggie in men's field short story, the fly? So, Reggie is, of course, only his son. Would you feel son? Would you feel boss? Boss son. Alright. Who died in World War One? Yes. 70. In the novel Prize and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy met Elizabeth for the first time at a ball which took place long long ball. See number. 70. Long ball. So this is the ball where Darcy met Elizabeth and where Darcy was seen to be very arrogant type of of a man. Alright. The property at Netherfield Park belongs to Mr. Bingley. Yes, Mr. Bingley. Bingley, Netherfield Park is for Bingley 
Hope is a good breakfast, but it is bad. See number. Supper. Okay. In freedom, G.P. Saw draws a reference to Shakespeare's Hamlet and quotes a line, put money in my in thy purse. In freedom, yes, which speaks to Yago to Othello. See number. Yago to Othello. Okay. 74. Saint Thomas More, according to G.B. Saw, believed that we shall never have a peaceful and stable society until this struggle is ended by the abolition of slavery altogether. Which struggle is referred to here? It is the struggle between employees and the employers and the employees. You know, G.B. Saw was against the forced imposition of works upon the laborers, upon the employees by the employers. So, C number. Employees to employers. Okay. 75. All right. In Lamb's essay, The Super Annotated Man, the narrator recalls that he retired on 12th of April with a generous lifelong pension amount that equal to two thirds. This is magnificent. B. Two third. So he calls himself. It was, it was unexpected to him when he was called by the boss of the East India Company and given him the magnificent offer according to Charles Lamb. Okay. Fill in the gap in the following line extracted from the super -retirement. I was in the condition of a Imprisonment in the old Bastille. Imprisonment. Condition of a of a prisoner. Prisoner. Of a prisoner. Prisoner. Okay. 78. 77. Sorry. 77. Dora Spellew, David's first wife, had a pet dog named Dora Spellew, David's first wife. Very innocent type of lady and very childlike. So, D number, Jeep. He, she had a pet named Jeep. David Copperfield. Okay. Give to him, Nora. It's on a nail by the whiteboards. I hung it on the morning for the pig. So, it is the rope. A piece of rope. 78. C. Rope. 79. All right. The opening scene of G.B. Saw's drama after the man is set at the bed chamber of Raina is a small city in Bulgaria located by the side of Dragoman Pass. The both Balkan mountain range and Dragon Pass are there, but amid the range there is there is a pass named Dragoman Pass. Eighty. I wish our people were not so cruel. So it is very simple. Raina, uh, out of its romantic illusions, all right. So, Raina, cinema 81. The Duke in Browning's the My Last does a source of his proud possession of the sculpture made by Claus of Inspa, which was cast in bronze. D. These questions are very direct and very, you know, conceptual type. And uh, one need to go through the line by line of the text in order to make the questions answers correct. In Wild Swans at Kule, the poet counts that there are 59 swans at swimming in the lake. He further recollected that 19 years ago he tried to count the number of swans a whale but failed to count because, because the swans made sudden and rapid welding on water, making counting impossible. You know? Welding. Okay, 83, 83, why is the meeting called strange meeting in the title of the poem by, the, by, the, by, by Owen? Because the meeting took place with the one soldier in here. No, because the meeting took place when the battle was still in full swing and both soldiers were dead. This could be the right answer. Another, because the meeting took place in the subterranean space between two soldiers, one of them is dead. And another B, C, D, 
very close answers very close options are there b c d so out of these three one will be the appropriate and which one will be the appropriate if we go through the point you know we can come to the point that option b because the meeting took place when the battle was still in full swing both soldiers were dead b number full swing and both dead not one, one not dead okay both dead oh for a drought of vintage that had been cooled in long age the deep dead earth the reflecting kids kids is known for his sensuality for his sensual making for his sensuousness so it is sensuality all right c number Kids is known all about for its sensuousness. Okay. Thy hair soft lifted by the winding wind. Who is mentioned here? The lady in the granary. A number. Granary. 86. Use the appropriate preposition to fill in the blank in the following sentence. Before showing his trick, the magician asks the boy, it will, it will be off. If an event is there then it will be about but here even number so think of an even number so it is very tricky type of question you think of 87 but in the course of one revolving moon the chemist feeder statements and buffoon which figure of speech do you anticlimax So from chimis to buffoon, you know, from high to the low to arouse laughter or ridicule. 88. A caesura, caesura usually occurs in dectal hexameter, otherwise down as heroic hexameter or meter or epic. How many epics such as Iliad and Odyssey? Who is does caesura signify? Caesura is a term derived from Italy or all right, Roman term, caesura means pause. It means pause. So a pause between words within a line. So where is pause? It is a pause. Where the pause is written in the option will be the correct answer. Editor, who is description best describes Kate Hartcastle? Kate Hartcastle. Oh, B number. <laughs> the long answers will be the right answer. Ambitious and wanting to please. Ambitious. Okay. 90 finally 90 so the 90 who does george hustings admire most in the play george hustings so george hustings will surely admire his fiance who is his fiance constance neville d number constance neville okay he admire him most he admire her most so now come to the Part of discussion. The question of 9, 10 and 11, 12, both questions were very standard, barring some blunder that has been done by the commission itself while setting the question of 11-12 English because they knowingly or unknowingly omitted fully or obliterated fully the passage only the passage questions have been given without giving the aspirants an opportunity to solve out the questions going through the passes because there were no such passes so i don't know what will happen in the coming days but the prediction of cutoff i will discuss it in my later video tomorrow tomorrow i will give you the cutoff after again reanalyzing the questions of both 9 10 and 11 12 Till then, you please subscribe my channel.
This is Dr. Basum Islam, a teacher, a guide to competitive English, literature, language, alright and grammar. Now signing off.